Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your career and finance reading for the month of October 2017. So let's find out what's been going on for you work-wise. So your current financial situation. We have the Nine of Water. It says your wish comes true, concerns fade away and a love life. And then we have the Page of Swords here. So this could be you hearing back about a job. It could be you speaking to your employer and things like that. And you just being generally happy. Again, you could be spending a lot of time with your partner here because it does speak about a love life. So, you know, I see you being able to spend time with loved ones lately. So for those of you that are looking for work, there's definitely some kind of information coming in regarding a job. For those of you that are in a job already, um, I feel like you're quite content at the moment and things are kind of going well. But in the workplace, you do need to be careful here we have the page of swords energy so this is um air sign energy so that's aquarius gemini libra this could be your energy sagittarius but i feel like you need to be careful here okay because here someone is thinking without um sorry is acting without thinking and speaking without thinking so this could be somebody um spreading a bit of gossip about you so um i feel like it's down to jealousy so i feel like you need to watch someone that you're working with here okay um i'm gonna say it straight this person is a bit of a bitch so i feel like you need to be careful of someone at work even though you're happy i don't feel like it's bothering you too much but just kind of pay attention to this person they don't have to be an air sign it could just again be someone that is just acting um impulsively due to their jealous nature so it could be any sign but specifically aquarius gemini or libra so your current beliefs about your financial situation here we have the high priestess and then we have the nine of earth it says enjoying life's little luxury spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment so here we have the the high priestess as well and for your outcome you you again have the nine of pentacles so the nine of earth and the nine of pentacles they are the same card so your intuition is leading you to this abundance here okay and you're very much going to be able to enjoy luxuries throughout october and november so again it says enjoying life's luxuries spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment so yeah i feel like your intuition is is kind of on point throughout the month of October and it's leading you to financial success. So there's a little bit of um a little bit of extra money after you've paid your bills to go and treat yourself here. So yeah, no um financial concerns. So your past influences that have helped shape your current attitudes towards how you deal with money. Here we have the world and it said things not turning out the way you'd hoped not seeing the positive in the situation and crying over spilled milk so here we have the five of water so this speaks about previously being discontent in a situation or possibly a ending so maybe some of you left a job or a job ended and you was a little bit sad about it but i feel as though endings always bring about new beginnings okay so um yeah, so I feel like there's a need to stay to stay positive, Sagittarius, but this is past, past anyway. So I feel like there's been some kind of ending or you're entering a new phase in terms of money right now because previously you've not been too happy financially um, or you're not seeing the positive of a situation if you have had to leave a job. Sorry, my voice is kind of going, but I still really want to do this video for you guys. So if my voice sounds a little bit off, then I do apologise. So your spiritual relationship with money and the, and the lessons that need to be learned regarding money. Here we have the Queen of Air. It says independent, experienced, realistic and witty. And it says objective decision making, clearing away all that that no longer serves you and seeing the humour in a situation. So again, they're speaking about something that may have ended or things not going the way that you want. And they're saying you need to laugh about it. Please be optimistic about it. Um, and I feel like... This is teaching you to make to make some kind of decisions which are going to help you become a lot more independent. And here we have the two of pentacles as well. So some of you have been juggling finances lately or there's just been a lot going on in terms of money. Um, 
So yeah, I feel like there could be some kind of financial decision that some of you are going to have to make or your guardian angels are helping you to learn to make responsible choices regarding money and, and them decisions. So here it's balancing things, so not doing too much at once, but at the same time looking at your priorities as well. And the actions that need to be taken to change a current situation, you have the moon and then you have the sun. It says important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. And then we have the sun. So I feel like with the moon card and you also have the high priestess, there's definitely something about your intuition that is playing out here and things are going to come to light throughout October for you. I feel as though the universe is kind of giving you a helping hand here as long as you follow your intuition because here we have important psychic insights and then we have the high priestess again speaking about um, psychic insights. So I feel like there's some kind of divine guidance that is coming to you regarding your finances. So some of you might be a bit fearful to make a financial decision as well and the advice is it will work out for you with the sun here. Just make sure you're clear on a decision before you make one. So some of you may have to choose choose between two different jobs and I feel as though you're choosing the right one as long as you listen to your intuition. And again, you have the sun again for the action needed. So, you know, it's very, very clear. It says, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So I feel there's a huge need to listen to your intuition you know and here we have the the magician as well so this is all about making things happen so have confidence in yourself and make this happen because you are going to be very very happy throughout the month of october financially as long as you sow these seeds now and make good financial decisions i feel like there is an important decision coming up for most of you so yeah it's all about making things happen achieving your goals and putting in the hard work and just kind of getting on with it but the advice again is you will have the happy outcome that you're hoping for you just need confidence okay and then again we have the magician so it's like wow it's really really clear it says you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest them life is magical and then this lady's kind of in this magical garden here with you know all her little luxuries so let me just quickly show you i don't actually think that this has ever happened in a reading lately for me where there's so many repeating cards so you have the magician twice you have the sun twice and you have the nine of earth twice so these are very very important messages here so you know there's a need to really kind of motivate yourself i feel like some of you could um be suffering from lack of motivation lately so they're saying motivate yourself go and kind of get on with things and have confidence because you will definitely get what you want throughout october through to november and you will be able to make money successfully. So I hope this reading made sense to you guys. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you for November's reading. Bye Sagittarius.